Chambers. It's a beautiful classic car. It's worth six figures and it's been stolen just weeks after it was acquired. It's all caught on security camera. The Grand Theft Auto happened Thursday night in Woodland Hills and it was a crime of opportunity that turned a fictional video game into a real life drama. KTLA's Chris Wolf is live in Woodland Hills with reaction from the owner and it's a story that you'll see only on five. Chris. Absolutely, Kareen and Sandy, you may not believe what happened and the fact that the bad guys actually got away with the goods. We're talking about all of the fumbling and bumbling involved here. This is a story you will see only on Five. He waited his whole life for this classic car, delivered just in time for Christmas at his home in Woodland Hills. Seth Wayne explains his teal green treasure, a 1962 Chevy Impala convertible equipped with a dozen batteries for hydraulic hopping is worth more than $100,000. You work hard for this, you know, and, uh, you know, these kind of things and, uh, you know, people just come and, you know, snatch it right from you. Seth barely had his General Motors gem, his latest car baby, two weeks when he parked it in front of his garage the evening of January 11th, the night before his 34th birthday. I think it's fair to describe it as a birthday bummer. Yeah, I think so, definitely. Uh, not, not the kind of thing you want to do on your birthday. <laughs> he means dealing with a stolen vehicle. Two men, two strangers, seized a window of opportunity under cover of darkness and either hotwired the Chevy or rolled it down Seth's neighborhood street. The car enthusiast tells us the thieves almost blew themselves up in the process. I guess they weren't familiar with what the hydraulics were or what was going on back there. And when they yanked the cables, uh, you know, the charger, the positive and the negative, they hit and sparks went flying everywhere. And what the bold yet bumbling bandits didn't realize was that the car was missing some parts as Seth had been working on the engine. Unable to get it started, the driver of the Hot Wheels yells to his accomplice behind him in a silver Prius to start pushing. Push me! Push me! Push me! Push me. The banging and bumping are cringeworthy, but that's not the only damage. They didn't know how to open the hood of an Impala, so... They had to, they bent the grill, and as you can see in the video, the grill is busted uh, just to open the hood. And you know, they could uh, bring it to a chop shop, part it out, uh, try to repaint it, you know, get the coat off of it, things like that. Building a Dodge Viper right now. Seth's passion extends from wheels to wings. He's a flight instructor who owns a flight school in the valley and usually parks his earthbound baby in a secure airplane hangar. Push me. It just sucks, you know, these punks are out here doing stuff like this. Seth Wayne has insurance, but really he just wants his classic car back. Anyone with information should contact the LAPD. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, Chris, thank you.